the most heart-stopping, game-changing, eye-turning moments in high school sports. Under Armour Highlights of the Week on the NFHS Network. Country Financial wants to know, do you feel in control of your financial future? Uh, no. <sighs> sort of. But I, I have the desire um, to be in control of my money. I need a plan. At Country Financial, our goal is to work with you to lay out a step-by-step -step plan of insurance and financial solutions to help you regain control of your financial planning, to help you own your future. Understanding is empowering. Visit ownyourfuture.com to find a local Country Financial representative today. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life. We're taking Never Ending to the next level at Olive Garden. For the first time ever, Never Ending Classics starting at $11.99. Indulge in never-ending helpings of your most loved classic dishes. How about irresistible chicken parmesan? Can't decide? Switch it up on a refill. Plus, all the garden fresh salad and breadsticks you want. New never-ending classics starting at $11.99. The best things in life should be never-ending. At Olive Garden. Country Financial wants to know, what do you look for in a financial services partner? Get to know us and get to know what we need and what we want to do. Treat me like they would treat their family. Help us decide what is a want and what is a need. I want something tailor-made for me. At Country Financial, our goal is to take the time to get to know you and then help you put together a customized package of insurance and financial solutions to help you own your future. When someone really listens and they're planning for us, I trust them. Visit ownyourfuture.com to find a local Country Financial representative today. This game is brought to you by Under Armour, maker of the world's best apparel, footwear, and accessories. Check out the full line of performance gear now at UA.com. Under Armour, I will. This event is brought to you by Olive Garden. Olive Garden is proud to be the official dining room of high school sports. With menu choices to please the entire family, as well as to-go and catering options, it's the perfect restaurant for your post-game dining. To find your nearest location or order your meal online, visit olivegarden.com. heart-stopping, game-changing, eye-turning moments in high school sports. Under Armour Highlights of the Week on the NFHS Network. Country Financial wants to know, do you feel in control of your financial future? Uh, no. <sighs> sort of. But I, I have the desire um, to be in control of my money. I need a plan. At Country Financial, our goal is to work with you to lay out a step-by-step -step plan of insurance and financial solutions to help you regain control of your financial planning to help you own your future. Understanding is empowering. Visit ownyourfuture.com to find a local country financial representative today. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life. We're taking Never Ending to the next level at Olive Garden. For the first time ever, Never Ending Classics starting at $11.99. Indulge in Never Ending helpings of your most loved classic dishes. How about irresistible chicken parmesan? Can't decide? Switch it up on a refill. Plus, all the garden fresh salad and breadsticks you want. New Never Ending Classics starting at $11.99. The best things in life should be never-ending. At Olive Garden. 
Country Financial wants to know, what do you look for in a financial services partner? Get to know us and get to know what we need and what we want to do. Treat me like they would treat their family. Help us decide what is a want and what is a need. I want something tailor-made for me. At Country Financial, our goal is to take the time to get to know you and then help you put together a customized package of insurance and financial solutions to help you own your future. When someone really listens and they're planning for us, I trust them. Visit ownyourfuture.com to find a local Country Financial representative today. This game is brought to you by Under Armour, maker of the world's best apparel, footwear, and accessories. Check out the full line of performance gear now at UA.com. Under Armour, I will. This event is brought to you by Olive Garden. Olive Garden is proud to be the official dining room of high school sports. With menu choices to please the entire family, as well as to-go and catering options, it's the perfect restaurant for your post-game dining. To find your nearest location or to order your meal online, visit olivegarden.com.
All right, wrestling fans, this is the night we've all been waiting for, the dual team state championships. And we got a nice one for you here on Class 2A. Washington, dominant powerhouse this year. 
just had a tremendous season. They're going against up and coming Wakanda. Wakanda, their first time in the state tournament series, first time in the finals, obviously, and they've just had just a great tournament. See, interesting to see, can they match up with this powerhouse from Washington? On paper, Washington's got the dominant team, and we'll see if Wakanda can do anything to slow them down. We're starting at 145 pounds. Dalton Jensen from Washington, a junior, 28 and 10, against Nick Schomer, from, a senior from Wakanda, 22 and 12. Washington will be in the orange singlets and Wakanda in the silver. And again, Washington, like we talked about, they come into the tournament, had nine state placers last week in an individual, and Jensen in on an early shot, and they've just dominated the duels on Tuesday night to get here, then two this morning in order to get to the finals, Dalton with the early lead. We do have a third place match going on down there in the corner, Dixon against Cahokia. We'll try and keep you updated on that, but this is the state finals here in front of us on mat three. So most of our attention will be to that one. Again, the referees selected the referee this final. Again, quite an honor for them. They're in the state championship also. And consistently, you'll see two of them out there and they're rotating between the three of them. Head referee for this match is Josh Anderson from Marion. He's assisted by Nate Kesson from Sugar Grove. And eventually you'll see Bill Honeycutt from Wood Ridge alternating in there with him. Jensen early takedown, riding him tough on the hips. Again, boy from Wakanda needs to get a fresh start. He should get out of bounds if at all possible. And there he did, he'll get a fresh start here with 33 seconds left in the period. And the coach is Michael Burr from Wakanda. And like I said earlier in the day, it's the first time I had a chance to see Wakanda over the course of time. And Michael's done a nice job. I like the way his kids come out and compete. And they've set up some great game plans to do some different things. This is first year as head coach there at Wakanda. So he's got the program going in a great direction. He was handed some talent and just kept getting it moving forward. On the Washington side, Brian Medlin his number one assistant, Nick Miller, and they just do a tremendous job. Two years ago, they were second in the state tournament. Last year, they were champions, and this year, like I said, on paper, they heavily favored for this one. First period ends, Jensen rode him out, so he's on top this time because Schumer took the bottom. Washington boys riding him really tough up there on top, staying nice and strong with the hips. Tends to get a little high, but he's got nice balance from doing that. Looks like he's gonna cut him to make it two to one. Schumer in on a shot, not a real solid shot. Oh, that works, unbelievable. Followed the cement mixer, and you usually don't see it successful there, but he did it so hard, got his hips in the right spot, and ends up getting a fall. So that gives Washington a nice 6 nothing lead to start with. Dalton Jensen with a pin. And we'll move up here to 160 pounds. 152 pounds, I'm sorry. Washington's got to run. He can just keep running to his left. Got the takedown. He leads two to nothing. Again, staying active on the hips. And this is Caleb Miller, a senior, 27 and 9 for Washington. 
Eric Heinzinger, a junior, 7-20 and 20 for Wakanda. So on paper, this is a match that Washington should be favored in. And Miller is their usual 160-pounder, but he had certified down to 152. He had a good, good year for him at 160. He lost a tough match in the knockout round in the sectional, where he too might have been one of those state placers for Washington. Again, look how active he is with his hips on top, consistently driving forward. Makes it hard to defend on the bottom. You can't just go down there and rest. <clears throat> and they also run, like we talked about all afternoon, a tremendous tip series where they put you on your hip, grab that wrist, and just tip you for the easy near fall. Again, warning for stalling on the bottom. Anytime that head goes down for a long period of time, you're going to get that warning because that's one of the things referees look for. He's got the tip set up. See if he goes through with it. Got it. Just so pretty when these kids do that. And they've got no fears of laying on their back as they do it, keeping one shoulder up, obviously, so they don't give up the defensive fall. So four to nothing in favor of Washington. Just a couple seconds, four left in the period. Big ride out for him. If Antioch could get a point here, might give him a little bit of confidence putting him back in the match. Got the foot out, but he's not going to have enough time. We'll go to second period, 4-0 Washington. <clears throat> Washington takes bottom. Nice power stand. Antioch breaks it down with the ankle. He's up and gets his point, 5-0. Again, power stand. He didn't explode. He just came up, used his hips, got to make sure he got hand control, took his steps, and that's just a textbook escape for him. <coughs> I'll see if he can score here at the edge. It's in a bad position because of the out-of-bounds lines. See if he can suck him back in. He's working at it. Real nice job to get the two. Again, maybe that's one of my pet peeves about high school wrestling. We get to the edge, and by rule, you have to break it if a foot goes out. I'd like to see it maybe a little more like college, where if you initiate a move on the mat, they give you some leeway to finish it at the edge. 7-0 Washington here in the second period. hips on top. Like we always tell you, watch these things to try and learn some things. There's call stalling on the bottom because he's just laying there. And again, because he's running his hips so solidly, it makes it hard to do anything. Whereas if you just lay on him without using your hips and legs, it's nice and easy to at least build up. He hit the tip again, but we're out of bounds. So they'll go back to the center. Nice sit out to start. But Miller right now is just doing a nice job of controlling this match. He's got his tip locked up again, so he's awful high with the leg. Looking to lock it up, still running his feet. Here it comes. And then the it's not Tano down in the farm at Cahokia leads six to four after two matches down there. We'll go to the third period here on our finals match. 10 0 in favor of Washington. And we're going to go neutral. Oh. 
Again, Miller up 10 to nothing from Washington. It looks like maybe he's resting a little bit, taking it easy, see if he can get moving again. Comes a straight on blast double from Antioch and those haven't been successful. He just gets his hips on him and goes behind him for two, that's 12. Got the tip locked up again, see if he takes it through. One minute left in the match. Washington needs looking for a tip. There's a stall call on the bottom. Heads down consistently. There's his tip, and this is going to be a tech fall. Again, great way for a senior to end his career. Getting a technical fall in the state championship. That's Caleb Miller. With a 16-0 win over Eric Heinzinger from Wakanda. Washington will lead, lead 11 to nothing. Another senior coming out to the mat for Washington. This will be Kyle Goyne. He's a normal 152-pounder. Moved up today to 160, and again, he's had a tremendous career there. Got a part to be state championship team last year, second place team the year before. This year looks like another state championship team, two-time state placer as an individual. Another senior that they'll be, they'll be losing after this year. Take down for going. Again, he's got his tip locked up. They're just making a clinic out of this out here. Just tremendous technique that these kids use. As soon as he releases the hand, he'll get the three near fall. And he kept the same move, so he's sitting on the three. Boy, he's running those hips real hard to try and get a fall. He's got it locked. There it is. Again, senior get to end a career with a pin in the state championship. So that gives them a 17-0 lead through three matches. And again, fans, I mean, Wakanda's a solid team. Don't get us wrong. They've had a great tournament to get this far. These kids from Washington are just a step better pretty much at every weight class. Again, we talk about during the course of the year refereeing, and Josh Anderson going to be the head referee in this match. I believe this is his first state tournament. And we need to get more younger referees like Josh. Josh comes in very conscientious, does a great job. And we need to get more good ones because this, most of these guys are getting a little older. In a couple years, not going to be a whole lot of referees left. So if you're really interested in doing it, get involved. Go to the IHSA website. There's a spot there where you can find out some information. Go ahead and get started. You'll, you'll enjoy it quite a bit, meet a lot of great people, and get a chance to stay involved with the sport of wrestling. And we're now to 170 pounds. In 170 pounds, this is Apgar from Washington. And I believe they announced Delator from Wakanda. And Apgar also a senior, so you're seeing Washington's got a lot of seniors in the top part of their lineup. Don't feel sorry for them. They got some powerhouse kids coming through the as backups here, and they got it, their lower weight classes are going to be really, really solid, also. So, don't, I mean, next year they might not be as dominant, but they're still going to be a, probably the top team in the class AA. Down in the farm at for third place, Dixon does lead at 10 to 6 in the team part. It 
is Devin Parrish, a senior, 38 and 13 for Wakanda. Jack Apgar, a senior, 25 and 13 for Washington. And again, looking down in front of us, we got a nice crowd here for the double A matches. The section's almost full. We've been worried about the crowds through the course of the day. It hasn't been really deep as far as people, but this one, the fans are out supporting them. And we'll go to the second period here, 0-0. Zero, zero. trying to power stand, bring that leg up under control so you don't get in trouble. But Apgar's just running his feet so hard, making it difficult. Now he is up, Apgar's got a mat returning. Got the single leg, and does get him back to the mat. And an escape for Wakanda. So let's take the 1-0 lead here in the start of the second period. And we're going to have some blood on the mat. Again, why we have a chance. Remember the IWCOA, the great organization of wrestling coaches who does so much for the sport. Go to Illinois Mat Men's website and get signed up so you can be part of that. They do so many great things. They have their all-state banquet coming up here in April. They've got their all-star duels coming up in the middle of March. They're sponsoring the Fresh South State Tournament, which is in operation right now. This year, their new thing is they're sponsoring a girls' state tournament for the first time. And it'll be interesting to see how that works out. If they're more than willing to do things, get involved with that particular organization because they're great for the sport of wrestling. So we're still on blood clean up here. Far Matt Dixon's got a pinning combination locked up. They do trail 12 to 10. And there's a pin which will put them ahead. That was at 182 pounds. The atmosphere is much, much better tonight as far as the finals. I mean, these people look down to my right, the Class A match, and we always kid that Class A fans are, are crazy. They really come out and support their towns. Even though they are small number-wise, it's real fun, enjoyable to watch the way they do things. Here in our mat, to keep the uh, bleeding stopped, they're putting a little tape around his head. And you see this, it's always unique when you get that taken care of. Again, why we have a second great summer tournament for you. Midwest Nationals held over at uh, Illinois Wesleyan University here in Bloomington. It's in July, July 8th. Not only run a great tournament, great kids from all over the Midwest come to it, get a chance to get some nice matches. They're going to have a couple guest speakers this year, Ben Peterson and Lee Kemp. And I've heard Ben and Lee speak before. They both do a great job. So if you're interested, I think you can go to the Illinois Map Men website and be able to get some information on that. But if you want to get some good summer matches, look into that. Okay, here we go. We're ready to get started. If you remember, second period, uh, Wakanda got the escape, so he leads 1-0. Again, it's Devin Parrish, 38 and 13 for Wakanda Senior Wrestling in his last match of his high school career. And again, we talk about you cannot back to the edge. The referees have been instructed when you do that to warn you for stalling. And Washington's kids tend to push forward quite a bit, and they, like, they get that call quite frequently. It'll be interesting to see how this headdress they put on the Wakanda boy affects him. Because those things sometimes are difficult because they slide down in your eyes and you can't really see. It just puts you in an uncomfortable position. 
Yeah, good call by the referee. He saw it starting to slide down there, so he broke it to give him a chance to get it fixed. And they're giving him a different headgear, I guess. It's going to cover the bad spot. Like I told you before, I've been real impressed with this Wakanda group throughout the course of the day. Their kids are well-schooled, and they've come up with some game plans to win two solid duels where they move kids around a little bit in order to get things done. And then Washington controlling the tie, it looks like here. Again, a lot of pushing and shoving going on. He's got to finish this. He's got it in tight. Got to maybe take some steps, get him moving a little bit. He adjusts where he's got the leg. Happen needs to get that leg planted on the ground if he can. Oh, nice takedown inside the last 15 seconds. You don't want to give up points inside 15 seconds there. And we'll go to the third period. That totally changes the match, because if it's only 1-0, Apgar takes bottom, gets his escape, and he's right in it. Well, now he's going to take bottom. He needs an escape and a takedown just to get a tie. So we'll see if he can get himself moving here quickly in order to get back in the match. Down in the third place match there at 195 pounds, and Cahokia trails Dixon 16-12. Apgar with a nice power stand. He's on his feet. Matt returns him well and potentially dangerous on the leg. He had it twisted in a little bit bad area. and gets another win down there on our farm app. And Wakanda really running his hips here, Paris. Riding real solid on top. Ah, now he got to his hip. Don't want to lay on your hip when you're riding, people. He's able to bail out. Apgar keeps trying this power stand. It hasn't been successful for him yet. We're at a minute and 10 in the match. Apgar's got to get moving here if he wants to get back in this. He needs to get that point. He's in the power stand position. Nice job of taking the leg away and sweeping it to the mat. Apgar's in a nice little scramble. Didn't quite get anything. We're inside 50 seconds. Nice ride. Again, learn from things. I stress all night long running your feet on top. Keep your hips on them and drive those feet. Now he's staying real active with the hands. That's the other thing you need to do to avoid the stalling calls. Just keep moving your hands around. As he's just been dominant up there on top. As I say that, Apgar's got him in trouble. Boy should just get to his stomach. Bail out and give him two. Yep, he's going to win three to two, but if he would have fought that too much longer, he might have given up four. So nice win, gets Wakanda on the scoreboard. Devin Paris, the senior in his last high school match, gets a three to two win. So that lowers, or makes the score now 17 to three in favor of Washington. This should be from Washington at 182. Dakota Van Quebecki, a senior, also in his last match of, the, of his career. And 
And if I'm reading this right, Zach Finn, a junior from Wakanda. Again, pretty much gone as planned so far. Washington with three dominant wins. Wakanda comes back with one of their better wrestlers to get a win to make it 17 to three. Washington here again, nice counter, hips down, spins behind and gets his two points. Again, Finn with a record of 33 and 20. Van Kobecki's 20 wins and two losses for Washington. He's got a mat returning. I just cut him instead, gives him the one. Two to one in favor of Washington. Look at the way Washington, I use the word stalk. They're consistently moving at you, getting you to back up. And again, according to the rules, that can be called stalling as long as they're doing it to set some things up. Special thanks to the staff over here. Mike Manahan, tournament director. All the work he puts in on this thing is just unbelievable. All the table help they get, the people who help with weigh-ins. People don't realize how the numbers of people it takes to run a quality tournament. And this is a very solid one as far as being able to come, get things done, enjoying it, and so on. So hats off to Mike and all his crew. Again, we'll end our period two to one here. Washington will defer. Dixon with a fall down there on the third place match. Ian Dixon's another one. This is their first year competing at the state tournament. They've had a nice run. Again, they attribute it to their solid grade school program. They've got, they've got a lot of kids out. Keep them interested, as you can hear over there. They got a solid fan base who come and support them. So again, look for them to be maybe one of the consistent teams down here. Is, and they're going to get a forfeit at 106, which puts them in a commanding situation down there for the third place medals. Still two to one here. Comes to his feet. Washington's got to decide if he's going to mat return him or cut him. He's going to decide to try and mat return him. Changes off. Staying up. Yep, there's the stall call. And then he cut him. That's always a bad thing. You had two negatives happen. You hit the stall call, which is bad, then give him the one. If, if you're going to take the stall call, just stand on him and try and mat return him still. Now it's two to two. Again, that's not referee's judgment. That's the rule. You've got to make an attempt to mat return it. And on a nice shot again, but he can't get his hips to a side. He laid there underneath and is going to get taken down. Again, we've emphasized all day, if you're going to get to that blast shot, you better get him elevated in a hurry. Otherwise, you better get your hips moving to a side. Power stand, see if he can come up off of it. I mean, nice job of breaking him down. Remember, last time he power stood, Washington boy couldn't mat return him, so he got the stall call and then an escape. So under 10 seconds, he's got a mat return him again. And there he did it successfully. We're at two seconds left. on bottom. Again, 
Cautions don't hurt you. First one's a warning, second one's a warning, third one's a point. But you always, I like to see kids get cautions occasionally. That means they're making an effort to move quickly. Now we'll go to the third period. Washington's gonna choose bottom, four to two lead. Again, here's where he's in the driver's seat. Just stay solid on the bottom, don't need to move a whole lot. You have been warned for stalling, which could hurt you, but just stay solid. Nice solid power stand there. Now he's on his feet and gets the point. Nice technique on that escape, by the way. Took his steps, got the hips out, and he leads five to two. Now he's just got to avoid the stall cause, and he should be doing real well to finish this match out. See if the Wakanda boy can get him a stall caught and wrestles the edge like that. It's going to happen. Coach Medlin's telling him, you got to use your head. You cannot back up. See, much better. He listened to his coach. He stalked him a little bit. Now he's making the other boy wrestle the edge. Again, every time the Wakanda wrestler shoots, the boy from Washington just gets his hips. Oh, nice little toss off that. Worked real hard to keep those toes in, but couldn't quite do it. Both coaches coaching up a storm here because this is a fun one to watch. Five to two with a minute and eight seconds left. And on another shot, but he